Romans 15.13, says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you to begin speaking this verse over your life. Say this, The God of hope fills me with all joy and peace because I trust in him, and I declare that my life overflows with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 26.3 says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Saints, I encourage you to make this verse yours and apply it to your life, saying, I am of a steadfast mind. God keeps me in perfect peace because I trust in Him. Psalm 103.1.5 says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now I want you to repeat after me. These verses, when spoken aloud, can become a powerful declaration over your life. They are not just words but life-giving truths that can transform your innermost being. As you meditate on them, let the deep well of faith within you rise up, and may your spirit soar on wings like eagles, renewed and full of his peace and joy. Your passion for speaking life through scripture is inspiring. Let's affirm these truths together. I will praise the Lord with all my soul. I will not forget the many benefits I experience because of His love. God forgives all of my sins. He heals all diseases. He is my Redeemer. Jesus Christ has crowned me with love and compassion. God Almighty Jehovah Jireh satisfies my desires with good things. As we declare, Psalm 119, 147, we are reminded of the power of hope in God's Word. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your word. In another version, it says, I hope in your words. When we speak the living word of God, we are placing our faith in the Lord, trusting and believing in his precious word. This is the essence of a powerful prayer. So, with this understanding, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your precious word, your word that comforts, your word that brings hope and joy. I choose to meditate on your word day and night so that my mind may be filled with thoughts that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. Amen. May these declarations become a daily proclamation over your life, and may you find strength and peace in the promises of God. I pray that your word would begin to change me from the inside out. May I grow in knowledge of scripture. May I be strong spiritually as my relationship with you is strengthened. Help me, Lord Jesus, so that my faith will not be choked out by the worries nor by the pleasures or the duties of this world. Help me to set my mind on things above. Father, your word tells me that you are a stronghold in the day of trouble. And even though the enemy has declared war against me, I know that the angels of the Lord encamp around me. Even though the devil and his army may rise up against me, the word of God says that the power of life and death are wielded by my tongue, and I declare victory in the name of Jesus. I declare health, protection, and preservation over my family in the name of Jesus. You, my God, are a God of order and so I speak order over every area of my life. I confess that my life is balanced and that the enemy cannot disrupt or disturb any area of my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, your word is of great comfort and it's a source of peace for me because it tells me in so Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. That means that I may face troubles, I may be placed in situations or scenarios that I cannot solve on my own, but you, my Lord, will have all the answers. 
you will have a solution for all of my troubles. And so, Lord, I claim Psalm 34, 19 over my life, and I say, my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ will deliver me from all afflictions, all troubles, and all tough situations. Father, it's because you are both so powerful and loving that I need your grace daily. Lord, I pray that you perform a good work within me. Your word in Colossians 3.15 says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. I pray, King Jesus, that you purify me of these things. Let me be peaceful, with no anger. Give me more of you, so that the sinful nature within me is completely removed, and I may walk in a way pleasing to you. I need your mercy daily. I need your protection daily. Lord, I'm grateful that you're forever faithful. You are everlasting in your love, you're divine in your nature, and above all, you are holy. Revelation 4 verse 8 says, And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Father, may I have a heart of worship, a heart so filled with thanksgiving and love for you that I will not be at ease during my day if I don't find time to simply praise and worship you. The Bible says, You are worthy, Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. No one else holds such power but you. You are my hiding place. You are my safe dwelling. May I be found to be abiding in your shadow, in your presence. And Lord, I ask that my family may be covered by your hand. I pray that your presence may be rich in our lives. May it be abundant in our homes and found to dwell in our hearts. For I know that all I could ever want can be found in you, Lord. I confess and I believe in your word that says, a thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me, meaning that no bad thing will come near me. No weapon formed against me or my family will prosper. When the devil tries to attack, then you, my God, will raise up a standard. I declare the word of the Lord that I will live and not die. But instead, I will declare the works of the Lord and I will speak of his goodness. I will speak of the goodness of the Lord as I declare that He has been faithful to me. He has been merciful to me. I declare today that brand new doors of opportunity are opening in my life. The windows of heaven are open for me and my family. I declare that I am blessed in the morning and I'm blessed in the evening. I'm blessed in my going out and in my coming in. I decree and declare that surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I thank you for making me a recipient of your unmerited favor. May you be glorified forever and ever. I'm so thankful, God, that you've heard my prayer, and it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that I pray and believe. Amen.